Okay, I swear. I know that this game has been out for about a year now, but I still want to try to finish it, okay? And don't worry, I am still going to be doing Super Mario RPG. I just... I just felt bad that I might not be able to get this finished for my channel. And I feel like maybe I should just go on ahead and do that. I think next up, we're going to try to do the uh, Team Star battle and meet Penny. I mean Cassiopeia. Ah, Master Slacker, how kind of you to stop by. I must say, I am pleased to see you on school grounds again. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Speaking of which, there is something I would very much like to ask you. I understand you have joined a variety of classes during your time here at the Academy, but if I may ask, which of your faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you? Oh, come on, really? I guess Mr. Hassel because I fought him? Oh, -ho! Mr. Hassel from art class, you say? Yes, he is a fine teacher, a most passionate and enthusiastic fellow. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Master Slacker. Okay, I thought I was gonna try to fight Team Star. Okay. So I figured I may as well go on ahead and uh, try to get this through because I wanted to get the Hisuin. Oh yeah, that's the uh, that's the DLC I think. I don't think I'm gonna be doing the DLC for this game because there's just like so many other games I want to try to get through, and I could just complete the DLC in my own free time. Besides, this series has gone on for long enough, and I've had so many breaks to play other games. I felt like maybe I just. Need some other games as some palate cleansers like, you know, Kirby and Resident Evil. Sub Slacker. <laughs> Director Clavel. Oh, come on. The name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Ha ha! <laughs> I like how he just rips off the clothes as a major reveal. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. Hey. It was at least a more fun twist than, I don't know, Spyro finding out he's not a dragonfly in the Legend of Spyro. And uh, I can just check off, make a diss at the Legend of Spyro for uh, my video. <clears throat> Excuse me. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel! I already knew that. <laughs> what? But my disguise was perfect. Although, now that I think about it. I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. No. You're fucking joking. Th I don't believe that. Honest to goodness, when you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, there was actually a pre-recorded voice. Wait. Are you serious? You're fucking Cassiopeia. I'll be sure this isn't a joke. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. Now you know I'm the big boss. That means there is just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. No way, you're serious? But how? I, I don't get it. Okay, maybe he'll explain after I do this battle, because, I mean, I didn't see it coming, so I I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Okay, so I can understand Clive, I mean, Clavel, Jesus. I can understand him wanting to end it, but starting it? Are you sure? Okay, whatever. Um, Brock, you're up. I think I'll go with Crunch. Let's just go with the big moves, and I can just get his PP up. Not like that. That'll be after recording. Okay, a bomb of snow. So that's ice. Fuck, I forgot what's good against ice again. Is ground good against ice, or is it actually weak against it? Would it be rock? Maybe? Fuck it, I'm gonna bring out Emo Werewolf. Please tell me I made the right decision. And now all the students are like, the fuck? It's already snowing? Oh, there's a Pokemon battle. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I don't know the weakness. I guess I could see if Rock is good against it. Oh, it is! And I flinched it too, so that's good. Um, let's... Yeah, let's just do a simple Rock throw. While Emo Wolf just freaks the fuck out because... Man, this game is just, again, held together by duct tape and Elma glue. Well, really more scotch tape, if anything. Also, Gyarados. Okay, so I know that's water. What's good against water? Ice? Alright. You have Chogajira. 
Now that it's snowing, it should really help. Chogajira. Alright, let's see if my hunch is correct. Okay, it's just normal. And that is good against it. Fuck it, just use Dragon on it. Dragon Claw. It'll kill it, at least. Or faint. Faint, kill, what's the difference? Hold T, guys, haha. <laughs> uh, that's ghosts. So, dark, definitely. I think I'm at least kind of remembering my matchup types. Crunch it! There's a tasty teapot. Mmm, peppermint tea. And the snow stopped, so... Amoongus! Mmm, then I'm not sure. Actually, I think Emo Warwolf. Isn't Amoongus grass? And I think rock is good against grass. Because grass does not grow on rock. Unless, unless we're counting moss, which I don't think there's a moss-type Pokemon anywhere. I think that might be a new type, but who knows. Okay, no. It's just regular effective. So what is actually effective against it? Psychic! And fly. Okay. So I made the wrong call there. You know what? Fuck it. Let's bring up Bebopper. Fuck you. Alright, let's do this. Super effective, and it did jack shit, so that's good. And let's, uh, considering Bebop is level caps, I'm just gonna use, uh, that. Yeah. Skeledurge. Okay, so that's fire. Rock might be good against it? Heh. <laughs> To think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. Okay, I really have to figure out how you managed to form a huge school gang. Were you like a former student? Alright, let's see if this works. Okay then, um, so Emo Warwolf is actually weak against that. I'm not exactly sure. I Ice would just crumble. Maybe ground? Maybe? I can at least lower its attack. If it has any kind of attack. Okay, that works. Let's try Bulldoze. Did it say it's super effective? I, uh, unfortunately didn't see it. Torch Salt. Ooh boy, how much is this gonna do? Way more than I would like. I think I go first. Yeah, I go first. Okay, so at least I got through that. How strong you have grown. Indeed. Now please tell me how this twist makes any kind of sense. Oh, that's a lot of money. Well, I just beat up my superintendent. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. I... Fuck you, game. <laughs> what the fuck was that about then, Clavel? Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So, I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Yes, sir. Just let me heal up my Pokemon, please. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there! What do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time. A pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself. Facing off against one of our students, no less. God, she is pissed. What were you thinking? Uh, no. If I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me. Your excuse is weak worse than a stunkies behind. A stunkies behind 
<clears throat> Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. They make no mistake. Good gracious, no. Uh, anything but that. I implore you. Can I not just defend him? Okay. I just didn't do anything. Good job, me. Actually, it is kind of weird that I'm still wearing these types of clothes. It is winter, after all. Now, if I can just fucking remember how to change my clothing. Okay, I found it. I think it was at the, uh... Wait, hold on. Okay, my Pokemon are nice and healed, it looks like. What about their PP? Is their PP good? Yep, the PP's good. And then we go to the schoolyard? Is that where we go to? Okay, so I don't have to come strictly at night. Yep, it's Penny. I knew it. Thanks for coming. Hello, Penny. <laughs> this must be quite a shock for you. Not really. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school at that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After this operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the Supply Unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. I'm kind of surprised you didn't just disband it. Or was there like some kind of rule that I'm forgetting? But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I think I am. Here we go. Thanks. Sorry to keep you waiting. The letter of apology this time had me... Uh... I mean, preparations took longer than expected. <laughs> that voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it was you after... Uh, no, I mean... Is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh? I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. But what happens if I lose? Do I get like a different ending or something? Uh, okay. Will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now! Bow down before the overwhelming mind of Team Star's founder! Okay, we got Umbreon. So you're dark. Wait. Oh, they're dark. Yeah, Bebopper is not a good choice. Um, okay, well, Cutie is. Urgh. Yeah, I need to remember this lowers the defense and SP defense, so... Probably actually gonna save that. Until we reach a stronger Pokemon. Oh wow, even at that- okay, wow. Wait, Psychic? Okay. For a moment there, I thought that was a bad thing. I could've sworn Psychic was good against fighting. Like I said, I am a very casual Pokemon fan. I have not even completed a Pokemon game. This is like the first game that I will likely compete, uh, complete. And what's the next Pokemon? Flareon? Okay, so we got Fire. So, I think we would need Brock here. Okay, let's bulldoze it. I probably should have checked and see what the other Pokemon were good against uh, Flareon, but it's fine. I got it. So, let me guess. You just got the entire fucking Eevee line. Vaporeon! Okay, yes. So, no, I don't think Ice is good against Water, which is weird. Yeah, I'll just keep, uh, Brock out. Maybe it's good against water. Or it's just regularly effective at, against it. Wait. Punk BF! Of course! The fucking electric boy! God, I am so dumb. Overdrive. No Vaporeon jokes, please. Alright, Jolteon. So that's lightning. Maybe? Maybe rock? I'm just guessing in the dark here. Fuck it, let's go with Rock. Let's see if Emo Warwolf can do something. Okay, well, can't exactly tell, so let's just try Rock Slide. It's okay. Yes! Good job, Emo Warwolf! Leapion, okay. Grass, so that's... No, no, no! 
Keep out of my werewolf. Rock slide again. Is that all you do, baby doll eyes? Okay, so that was just weak sauce. Is electric good against it? I Ice! Of course! And then we use Icicle Slash. There we go. Sylveon. I don't know what type Sylveon is. It is it Psychic? If it's Psychic, I may want to bring out Brock. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses spell at your hands. Strangely enough, you are easier than Aerie. I had fucking trouble with Aerie. Yeah, let's just do Crunch. Okay, let's try Crunch. Oh, it's not fa Wait, it's Fairy! Oh, fuck! I don't know what's- Oh, wait! Steal! Steal! My VV power will crush you into Stardust. Will it now? Show me. Show me your moonbeams. Ah, uh, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> oh, jeez, I, I don't know. Would Metal Claw go first? Please tell me it goes first. Okay, good. It goes first. And that did it. Woo. It's all over now. It is. It's finally over, guys. It's done. So, of course, we get a year and a half ago and see what this is about. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gone out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Neither did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, we didn't even send out the Pokemon! They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. Yeah, it's only... Unique. I wouldn't say scary, though. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. And then they all ended up leaving the academy. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is... Thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Wait, so they're just taking orders from somebody they have never seen? Granted, that's practically corporate America in a nutshell, but still. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us! Too late, she hung up. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, Slacker. And you too, Clive. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss... Uh, Penny! I'd like to check something with you first. Check... What? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? That I am trying to figure out. I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Okay, so they were just being resilient. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I can never order them. So, it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. And according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea for Operation Starfall. <laughs> Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No. What do your friends and the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Well, I'm glad that she got her assignment down. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Seriously, Penny, you didn't be- Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Are you seriously telling me you got tricked into this? Okay, so apparently you're dumber than you look. Indeed. Well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. <laughs> ha! Ha! And there was just nothing. D Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was fine. 
Again, how did you not see this? But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but... Where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. What do you mean, big feelings? Explain, Penny. Everyone! Why don't you come on out? Huh? Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, you only found out your real name just now. Melly. Fairly is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Ordy. She, she just has cutie nicknames. We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Airy. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two... Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia! And hello, Penny. Too bad I can't just sound like five people all at once. I do not have that vocal range. Or vocal ability, I should say. Now then, Miss Penny. And each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. G come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I know now this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed. Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo! Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together! But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, he only went through it with it to save us from getting expelled. Not like we'd ever chuck the team just cause someone told us to after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. BB? But, even so... <laughs> Hold on everyone, I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, fuck you, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. <laughs> Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules simply cannot be overlooked. Yeah, I should have figured. Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for? The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers as talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Slagger battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. Hmm. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. Milady. Just needs a fedora. God, why must fedoras just be like in decline? I remember when they were, you know, associated with Noor and trench coats. We were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This'd be a sweet deal for us. Slacker, what do you think? I think it sounds great, huh? But, um, I just, just going ahead. No need to give you a response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. 
But now at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it is time to leave. <laughs> Master Slacker, please stop by my office later if you would. So do I just automatically go there? Or just go back here. And then of course we go over to his office. Well, once I figure out how to get out of here. Ah, here you are, Master Slacker. I wanted to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny. Do come in. H Hello, Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I... I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad things I did. And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it sort of... Illegally... By hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, uh, I see. That is... Quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. May want to touch up on your security there. It wasn't all that hard... I mean... I'm really sorry, I, I and I won't do it again. I've allowed to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to best proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Slacker, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Okay, at least it doesn't make me give back the LP. It is mine now. Wait, what else do I need to do? Is it... done? Like, are we good? And he's not here. D do I just assume that we... are we done here? Do I just move on? Okay, give me a moment. Okay, yeah, I I'm being fucking dumb. I just needed to leave the skull grounds and then Penny will call in about something. I didn't read exactly what, so I haven't spoiled myself on that end. There it is. Slacker? What up? Nah, I'm just gonna go with Penny. There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know, where we first met? Okay, so what's up? Hasta la vista. The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. <laughs> it's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? <laughs> then she's just like, Duh. <laughs> Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the League Point system, but they laid me off easy. Oh. Yeah, what happened? The Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. That's cool. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you could believe that. Probably like as a security engineer, I can, I can imagine. Uh, Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me, like, a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Well, I mean, apparently nobody else was able to hack into it. Sorry for calling you out of here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um... I mean, I can't either. Th thank you. So much. You say Team Star, and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so... here. Draco Meteor. Is this a good one? Oh, I see 69. Cock. Comments are summoned down from the sky onto the target. The recoil from this move harshly lowers the user's SP attack. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, slacker. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista! So long, Penny. And I got two out of three down, so I'm guessing that would be Arvin and I'm sure the final boss in the crater. You know what, since this didn't take as long as I thought it would, I guess I can go in ahead and start Arvin's. I, I didn't even walk that far. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There'd better be a good reason for calling us here like this. Everyone always says, she's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. Uh, my mom, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, she's the worst. All she ever does is work. 
she never comes home. Ah, uh, it's one of it's one of these tropes, huh? I don't have a single memory of her ever even playing with me. Her own kid. Mavasif's the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> I've been saying that for a good while now. But hey, it looks like we are going to be getting this over with pretty soon. Oh, it's a full cutscene. More 6th generation pre-rendered stuff. Hmm? I need your help. She still has fangs! She's not human! She's actually a Pokemon in disguise! I am currently at the deepest point of Area Zero, in the great crater Paldea. Also, I suddenly remembered that I'm English because of my son. That made this twist just make even less sense. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand, to help carry out the final step of the great Professor Sada's glorious research. The final step? But there is something we need first. Something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Scarlet Book. Let me guess, it would have been the Violet Book in the other game. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Scarlet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokemon and outfitted with a powerful cybernetic security systems. Hmm. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I will be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Some allies, so what do we do now? Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mavastev got wounded in the first place. But why were you over at Area Zero, though? Or why was Mavastev over there? In all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? <laughs> we might find our treasure! Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. I mean, in all honesty, that's like a very vague statement. I mean, I could... Say that my collection of candy over there is my treasure. Which it kind of is. It makes me feel a little happy in this dark, depressed world. Okay, okay. Arvin's veins are just showing up. Oh boy, this game. It is a fucking mess, but my god, do I love how messy it is. And I just can't stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. So I guess I'm going to. Hmm, sides. I love to give mom a piece of my mind. Ah, mommy issues. Sadly, I can relate to that. All right then, Slacker, outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Do we have anything else in here that we can loot? There's no photo in this frame. Then why even have it? The fridge store is too heavy to open. God damn it, we can't raid for snacks. And this says it's used recently, so she has been in here. The sink hasn't been used in a while, so that's great. Good to know that Sada does not wash her hands. Enigmas of Paldea, file 5, Fluttermain, a ghostly pterosaur. What? A name taken from a strange creature with a matching description appearing in the Scarlet Book. It's said to float around the sky at night with its long hair writhing about it. Oh, it's, it's just me then. Some believe that it's a ghost of a pterosaur from a long gone era. Interesting. There are picture books of kids. One of them tells a story about making a big sandwich. So is that why Arvid is just so goddamn obsessed with sandwiches? Okay, I've dicked around enough in here. I guess it's time to battle. See, can I just... Bye, Arvin. Nah, I do need to fight him. All right. You ready to battle? Yes, I am. Excellent. You're ready too, right, Mavastiff? Yep, Mavastiff says he's ready. You're battling to Mavastiff? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here is bursting with energy. You never know, he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone. Always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. Okay, so they do want to battle. They are bloodlustful. Is bloodlustful a word? It should be. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl. The battle fanatic one. Oh, Namona. Anyway. My point is, there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Orvin and Mavastiff, and we're feeling audacious. Or maybe herbaceous. Ha. Let me give you a taste of what I can do. Well, we. We you. <laughs> I, I still love that opening. It's just like, ah! It's just so hilariously weird. Okay, so we got Squirrel. Squirrel versus Pig. 
Okay, so fighting is good against the squirrel. So, squirrel, meet fellow jackal. And the squirrel just... Great, it sat on me and shocked me. Uh, let's see if maybe I can still... Okay, good. Maybe I don't need to unparalyze it. Skovelane, is that grass? I keep forgetting what is good for grass. Of course, ice. You know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Okay, well, I guess it's not good against it. So that joke just didn't make as much sense. I should have gone with Emo Werewolf. I had that in the back of my mind. No, I just bring up the Pokemon that I shouldn't have brought it out. And so I should have brought out this other Pokemon. I... Keep it upon me, guys. Keep it upon me. I am the most casual fucking Pokemon player ever. And I just burned myself. Literally and figuratively. I feel like Garvin is just relying on status elements at this point. Okay, so I guess Scovelane is fire. Maybe it's... No, I don't think it's a dual type. Toad school. God, I forgot what... Wait, it's grass. So... You know what? This time I will bring out Chogajira. I swear, the next Pokemon is going to put another status element on me. Well, unless I go first. No, it goes first. But mine is stronger. Garganackle. So I think that's the Minecraft Mushroom Pokemon. Let's see, it's Rock. Just keep Chilgajira out. I'll figure it out. I think I do have it in my Pokedex. Or maybe I don't. Cool. Um, just use Icicles again. See if that works. It's a critical hit, at least. Fuck a duck. Maybe Daffy Duck. I mean... In case you can tell I'm a furry. Cloister. Would that be water? And just keep out Chilgajira. He does need the experience. Okay, not very effective. Cool. And that means... Okay, that's also not very effective. I don't know what it would be strong in, so let's just see if it's... If Dragon is a good move against it. It's decent. I forgot what it did. Uh, you know what? Just crunch it. Fuck it, I may as well just kill it off as Gajira. Just give it that little bit of experience and help it catch up. Mavastiff. And that's definitely the Pokemon that's going to become terrestrialized. I think it's Dark, right? Damn it, I don't know what's good against Dark. Maybe Kitty? I'm going to have to heal it from Paralyzation, possibly. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so fighting is good against it. Fuck it. Let's go ahead and terrestrialize. I can always just refill it back up at the Pokemon Center. And I'm pretty sure it might throw it up. Let's all about your full recovery with a glow out time to terrestrialize Mava Staff. Yada, yada, yada. Please don't fork this up, Lucario. Strangely enough, I had not had to use Brock or sadly Punk the F. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, this might push it a little over the edge. And nice. That should do it. Yeah, this game is pretty easy, or my team is surprisingly decent. Ugh. We were so close, Mava Stiff. So close. But Slacker, thanks, little buddy. Thanks for beating up my dog that we've been spending the entire adventure trying to heal. And now it's just writhing on the ground, blood spewing out of it on the cusp of death. Thank you so much, buddy. Dang. This is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, because I mainly did all the work. I do think we're gonna need some more support. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills. And someone who can deal with crazy tech. That could be either Nimona or Penny. I wouldn't choose Nimona because I really like her. A student council president? You're probably right. That girl can take on any Pokemon that comes at her. She's a beast. I'll reach out to them and organize things. You just make sure you're there. The main place will be the Zero Gate. It's this facility out on the edge of the Crater Zero. At the Great Crater, I mean. Mm. I'll send you the info on how to find it, so don't keep us waiting forever. I have never seen that in my life. But, uh, it'll tell me on the map, I'm pretty sure. And that's the Path of Legends, so we got two down. So it looks like we just got Area Zero, and that should be it. I forgot, though, um, did they charge up my Terra? My Terra Orb. I'm gonna go over to the Pokemon Center and just heal my Pokemon, just in case. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just for taking photos, whatever. Kind of surprised that near the end of the game, it's just like, oh, hey, here's a little tidbit. It's just for taking photos. But, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I feel like... The next one is going to be the one that ends it all. Um, but keep in mind that the next video is actually going to be for Super Mario RPG. And then after that, we'll come back to Pokemon Scarlet. So, hope you enjoy Super Mario RPG. And of course, hope you enjoy the finale to this. At least I hope it's going to be the finale. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, somebody out there loves you. You are valid. And you do matter. And I'll see you guys next time.